well i guess it was fun whilst it lasted guys yes the day has come where dubai is banned from travel and it seems like this is going to cause a lot of issues for a lot of models and social influencers it's going to be crazy today i'm going to give you guys more details on that hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl be amy thank you so much for tuning in news has come and it is confirmed that dubai joins the red list with travel ban from the uae guys dubai is banned you can't travel okay you cannot <laughs> it is banned and you might be thinking is she a little happy about that like I, I i can feel a little smirk well if i'm gonna be completely honest and transparent i was getting a little bit tired of seeing people traveling in and out of dubai looking on people's snapchats partying and i'm just stuck at home having to deal with boris and being stuck in lockdown thinking why the hell are the borders still open like i mean everybody has their own conspiracy theories everybody you know thinks that it's not real and well i can still travel if the borders are open and until the borders shut then I'm gonna keep doing me I get tested blah 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 uh, there was a post that Paige Keiki put okay that's all well and good but guess what no matter how many conspiracy theories or how much you think this is fake we're all having to deal with the repercussions of it so we just need to get out of this and if we can just do our part then we can all be in dubai living our best life but we ain't gonna do that if you guys keep traveling in and out in dubai and on top of that keep causing trouble i was surprised that dubai didn't even ban people from the uk after all of the trouble that it kept on getting bad publicity okay rant over let's get back to this <laughs> let's get back to the video so many people are battling to get back home to the uk they are going to be fighting to get the last flight home from dubai before 1 p.m because that is the time when the travel ban comes in today it comes into effect at 1 p.m there are some holiday makers who are still trying to fool the border controls by flying through the eu while others joke we'll just have to stay in the sun i don't think they really understand the severity of it now whilst we had a lot of entertainment and you know a lot of things come from dubai guys we all know the stories we had miss our fabulous we had Paige keiki we had tion wayne we had the whole demi situation we had stephen bear and the whole situation that happened to him he was in dubai there are so 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 many stories probably that i obviously didn't even speak about everybody and their grandma and their pets the cats the dog were in dubai who did we not have like who did not go to dubai and cause a little bit of drama whether it be on the plane or whether it be in dubai so many influencers cause controversy whilst being out in dubai it really did increase the virus and let's not even talk about why it's taking so long for these bands to come in place why it's taking so long for borders to actually close whilst we are just stuck at home and we're getting all of the fines we're getting all of the repercussions while people are still flying in and out anyway so models and social media influencers are amongst thousands of british travelers facing a race home today to avoid being stranded in dubai and abu dhabi the scramble to get the fight comes after ministers added dubai to the so-called red list of countries where travel to the uk is prohibited let me tell you there's about 10,000 uk residents who are thought to be in dubai guys scores of social media influencers and millionaires have flocked there recently ministers announced the move by five PM yesterday giving holidays makers less than 24 hours to scramble for tickets on the handful of direct flats scheduled to arrive in the UK before the deadline. How are you going to give people 24 hours, especially with that high amount of volume of people? That's just going to be manic. People are going to be rushing. There's not going to be any social distancing because people are going to be in panic mode. Bearing in mind that this is going to be the last last flight so on the flight what's gonna happen in the airports what's gonna happen now i did hear that they are looking to do quarantine hotels obviously when they come back to the uk like it's just really really crazy and you know what like i've noticed the government has this tendency to do these rushed last minute decisions where masses are just flocked together and it's just chaos obviously they still have to provide proof of a negative test otherwise they could be fined 500 pound each so guys that is the big news 
today guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section thank you so much for tuning in feel free to subscribe if you are new to my channel and i'll speak to you guys in my next video